Hello you guys, welcome back to the video brought to you by the one and only Smoke Co TV and that's on what? Period. Period poo. So if you are new, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and the bell notification to know about my upcoming videos. So in this video, I'll be telling you guys about things that I've done that you should probably do if you ever decide to visit Las Vegas. So let's get into the video. So I'm gonna break it up into three different categories. The first one's gonna be food slash restaurants eating out, basically just place to go that I went to that you can eat. Second, activities. And then third, shopping. Cause you know, we all have to get together and go shopping. We'll get together and we're gonna go shopping. <laughs> so the first place we went to was, it's called the front yard. I was called the front yard. There's a place called the yard house and I was getting those two confused, but it's the front yard. So the front yard was a very, very chill vibe. And they were also participating in Halloween. We went to the, we went to the front yard the day after Halloween and it had all kinds of decorations set up. It was so festive, very relaxed. They had a game playing. People were in there hooping and hollering, honey. Hooping and hollering for that football. Was it Sunday? Sunday night football? It had to be, right? It had to be, that's the only day Sunday football comes on, right? Now, getting to the food, we ordered some wings and fries. The fries were super seasoned. And I don't know if it's just the West Coast, if it's just the West Coast or just places I've had, but it wasn't what I'm used to. Of course, being from the South, we're used to things being super seasoned. <laughs> you know, your grandma put her foot in it, your mom put her foot in it. And it wasn't hitting like that. Like the sauce was good on the chicken. I think we had like a teriyaki, sweet teriyaki flavor, and then a, either a buffalo or a mild. We got that in the fries. The fries were the fries were bomb. They were hitting. Y'all know I love fries. If you don't know, you know now. But the fries were seasoned well. So it's like, why did they put this on the chicken and put the sauce on top of it? I don't know. It's different when you travel to different places. That's why it's good to explore. Get out your city. Got your hometown. But the front yard was a really good experience. The night before, they actually had. Um, a hocus pocus thing going on so they had like the three women who were in hocus pocus actually perform not the actual women but like they had people dressed up in the costumes which i could have we could have dressed up they told us that you can dress if you want you want to come you know and be a part of the festivities or you just come normal and enjoy so just so y'all can catch the vibe because it was very much chill very much going to the bar with your boyfriend with your girlfriend or chilling with your friends like very relaxed i would give the front yard thumbs up at least the location that i went to thumbs up and they also had like upstairs area that we didn't we didn't go to because we didn't feel the need to but it was like an upstairs path that walked or you can walk around the top the ceiling was open so it was like fresh air you could look up into the sky the tvs were huge full screen tvs and then there was um tvs surrounding you from different you know different angles depending on where you're sitting so everybody can catch the show we were dead set in the mirror in, in the mirror we were dead set in the center of the restaurant facing the the huge the, the huge tv 
The second place we went to on the list is called Hell's Kitchen. If you watch TV, you might have heard of it. If you like cooking shows, you might have heard of it. Um, it was a very, very cute, very nice place. It was definitely more upscale than the front yard. Hell's Kitchen was reservation only. We used open table to reserve. We actually went there because we thought we were gonna be able to get to a different buffet that night. But for some reason, I'm new to the buffet out of town. Like in the South, you don't have to make a reservation for the buffet. Most places you don't, but in Vegas, make sure you do that. Make a reservation or you're gonna be waiting <laughs> longer than necessary or you're gonna be upset by the time you get there realizing there's a um, two hour, three hour, four hour wait for people who are already reserved, still waiting to get in. The room was very big. It was like a large open space, kind of like the front yard, but there were also sections um there was like a side where you could see the strip so this hell's kitchen was literally on the strip of vegas on the vegas strip so you could sit by the window you could see the, see the view we were right across from the flamingo if that's familiar to tell you where exactly it is um the food <laughs> don't go hungry unless you're trying to spin a rack because I didn't pay, but looking at the menu, I could tell that it was definitely overpriced. But situations like this, you're not there to really fill up. You're there because you wanna experience eating on the strip, eating at Hell's Kitchen, experiencing the food, seeing the photos of um, the winners on the wall, being able to purchase the, the um, what is it called, merchandise that they have. So don't go if you're hungry, hungry or hungry, period. Go if you're trying to like celebrate a birthday dinner, your date night, you know, because it's, oh, it's definitely overpriced. You're paying for the experience, not just the food. So on that note, you know, choose what you want to do for yourself, honey. No one is going to kick you out you as long as you want because we had left and walked walk on the strip and I saw a couple who was sitting like, across from us still there an hour, two hours later. So, you know, take your time. It could be casual. It could be date night. It could be birthday night. It could be whatever it is because we were definitely super casual when we went. I give it a thumbs up too for what it is because you just have to know what you're getting yourself into when it comes to eating at certain places and if you're trying to be fed you're trying to have, walk away with your 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 jeans unbuttoned. Don't do Hell's Kitchen. Do a buffet or go to the yard. Go to a bar. Go somewhere where it's a little bit more reasonable for the prices. <laughs> and you know, for some people, it might be reasonable. It might be reasonable. But yeah, I like Hell's Kitchen. It was cool. It was a nice experience. Um, when I do it again, for just the sake of it, no, I wouldn't. It wasn't. It wasn't that great of a time where I felt like we need to go again and again and again. It was like, okay, cool. This is cool. Okay, I'm done. Moving on to the next restaurant. Moving on to the next, you know, the next venture of Vegas. Oh yeah, and the food at Hell's Kitchen was was good. It was good. It just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. <laughs> but it was definitely good it was flavorful it was seasoned to what it needed to be seasoned to it was just like where's the rest of it i'm still a little bit hungry i don't know what else to get. i'm gonna sip on expensive water <laughs> but it was cute it was a cute time it was fun Now the third restaurant we went to is called Buffet at the Win. This was very, very, very whimsical, very, very magical. Like it was just so cute. It was so cute. It was just like, I don't know, the whole vibe of it was very like, oh, this is so pretty. Like people were coming in there looking like they were going to the club. People were coming in there looking like they were just, you know, out with their family, family vacation type of vibe. People were date night, like me and my boyfriend, you know, just, we're looking cute, but just chilling, you know. Ain't nothing. Some people look like they just got out of bed. <laughs> with a t-shirt dresses on, with their um, slides on, like, it doesn't matter what you wear, it's all about how you feel, and you just do, 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 do you. Do you. But it was very spacious, the wait wasn't long, we had reservations, we were able to go through, they had two different lines, so we were able to go to the, um, the faster line, which had us in within, I wanna say 20 minutes. Cause we got there a little early, they told us to come back. So we came back and then we were able to go in. And it's also located inside of the casino, the, the win, the casino called the win, the hotel and casino called the win, I'm sure. But I have footage of that too and I'll include that 
in the section. It's a great area because it's on the strip. Everything is right there, walking distance. Family friendly, like I said. Um, the food was good. There is so many options, so many options to choose from. They had seafood area, they had um, barbecue area, they had, um, what's the soups called? The soups with the noodles. Pho, they had a pho area, they had a whole dessert room. They had candy skittles. I tried this crepe, is it called crepe crepe? I tried that and it was, it was all right, it was all right. The, the chocolates was good, the chocolate cakes, the, um, everything was delicious. Like nothing, nothing tasted like it was missing something. Everything tasted like it was supposed to taste. So, and it was a really good experience. The waitresses were nice, the waitress was nice. Um, nothing weird happened. It was a good experience. I definitely recommend you go to the buffet at the win. I think that's in the top three places that you should go buffet wise in Vegas. Um, correct me if I'm wrong if you live there or if you've been to any other places, but I'm pretty sure it's one of them because it was it was really good. And I would definitely go back there, y'all. I had I wish I didn't I lost my SD card so I couldn't even show you guys my play and like the specifics of what I had. But luckily my boyfriend, he also recorded some things. So I'm using his footage for this portion because girl, boy, I need to do better. I don't know what happened. I left it at the hotel in Vegas and I'm in Georgia now. <laughs> so I have to work with what I got. But it was so good. I recommend it. I would definitely, I would love to go back again next time I'm in Vegas and try other buffets. It was just, I just love how it was limitless. It was limitless. So you're not gonna feel like your money's wasted. And they had they had the crab legs that were already peeled for you, girl. They were already peeled, like cut in half. All you gotta do is just take it out. The only thing is that those were the cold versions, and then they had um, the warm ones. So you could pick either one, but it really didn't matter. It really didn't matter. They both tasted good. Both tasted so good. I was able to record one of the activities that we've done. I can't remember if we did anything else. It was mainly like walking around. That's one activity you could definitely do, honey. Just walk around, see the sights, people watch, like get you a drink and just walk around. <laughs> Go gamble here and there and just walk around, walk through the strip, walk through the downtown area. And this is actually in the downtown area. So I don't know if people really realize it, but when you go to Vegas, there's a Vegas strip and there's Vegas downtown. Vegas strip has a whole bunch of things you can do restaurant wise, eating out, um, gambling, you know, everything that you do, go to the club, whatever, whatever. Downtown is also a place you want to check out because they have activities that are also the same as the Strip. Now, I've been to Vegas before and I never knew about the areas of downtown, so I'm glad that we took advantage of going this time. Um, so we did it downtown with Slotzilla. So Slotzilla is basically zip lining, which is so fun. I'm an activities girl. Like I, when I go places, of course I want to get cute, I want to shop, I want to, you know, see the sights, but I'm also the type of girl that wants to go rock climbing, wants to go zip lining, I'll get into the water, you know. I like activities and I'm very athletic, thanks to my parents, most mainly my dad, I'm very athletic. It's very exciting, um, you can either sit or you get Superman, I think it's what's called Superman or superhero, I think it's called Superman. Superman's where you, um, you know, lay like this. <laughs> And when you sit, you just sit and hold on like you're zip lining on a regular zip line situation. But of course, I did, we did the um, Superman because for one, it was a longer ride and you, you're higher. So it'd be way more fun. And you can also control your speed, which I'm gonna also insert some clips of us doing that. It was cool because you can also pay for the GoPro, which I did so I can have footage for you guys. So we, I paid for the GoPro for us to use and you can see everything. Like I should have kept it wrong from the moment they gave it to us, but I'll show you a clip of how it looks initially, like from beginning to end of what comes when you pay for it. And then I'm gonna just insert clips of the ride throughout the video. The timer's gonna come on and starts recording, of course. That's how you get the face, put the arm out, that's how you get to see what you're seeing. When you're done, of course, Ooh, 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 ooh. 
wave tomorrow. <laughs> and once the ramp goes all the way down, if you guys want to go faster, grab the top edge of the bench, pull yourself forward. Now we're going to cover that at the end of the song tonight. Thank you all for coming out right here. Have fun. Enjoy the video. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. What you know about going out here west? Red legs, TVs, all up in the headrest. Try and live it up, ride you a bigger truck, beats all glitter dust. Give a kid what you want, jig with a cut, ship crisp, get it up. Ride, get your nut till I can't get it up. I'm a big man, get this man room. I'd hit everything from Cancun to Red Dawn. Why you stand on the wall, hand on your? Lighting up drugs, always fighting in the club I'm the reason they made the dress code They figure out what and why when I'm in my fresh clothes Dresses I suppose with my neck to my toes Neck full of gold, with in my rose Rep shows, collect those extra O's By the E, get a key to the next to hold East, West, every state, come on, bury the hate Minions, the only thing we in the heavy to make Was up in the X-Friend, in the left door game Let's begin, bring the yes to an end Come on But it was so fun, very affordable, very family family friendly. Great memories because depending on when you go, they like give you photos with the decorations of the time. So like because we went during Halloween, we had like a picture of us together at the beginning, but like the Halloween stuff in the back. It's like we were flying through Halloween, like flying through the haunted house, flying through the smoky clouds and the, the ghouls and the booze. And you know, it was just funny. It was really funny how they did that because I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting it, but it was funny when I saw it in my email. Was, there was a video, the song was playing in the background was actually recorded with Diddy, Diddy and Max was actually recorded in this area. My boyfriend told me, I thought that was kind of neat. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And then the last thing, you know, shopping. Shopping, the last thing you do is shopping while you're in Vegas. And there's a limitless, limitless amount of shopping you can do. There's designer everywhere. You can walk into a designer store in an accident, basically, because the designer stores are located inside the hotels, which are right next to the casinos. Everything is together. And they are set up in such like the most glamorous, luxurious way. It's just so pretty. Like you just wanna walk around the area just to walk around, take pictures, even if you're not buying. I would say just go over to the area and look around because it's an experience. It's so cool. The stores that I went into were the YSL store and the Louis Vuitton store. I did purchase a Louis Vuitton item. If you're interested in that video, I'll link it below. I went into the YSL store, didn't get anything, but I saw a bag and tried it on that I actually want. I tried this bag on before in Miami, but it wasn't the black one. They only had like um, off colors, not off. I want to say like white and like a beige and like a sage or dark forest green that had those colors, but they actually had the black one that I wanted in medium. So I was able to try that on and that was cool. So now I know that's the bag that I want for sure. It's on my bag wish list. Hopefully one day soon, I'll be unboxing that for you guys on this channel as well. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, comment down below, a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.